Hey MTV, welcome to my crib. Hey everyone, it is Psyche. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing a full plant tour. Um, also kind of a little bit of a room tour, apartment tour. I'm moving soon and so I want to be able to kind of get a snapshot of my life right now as I move out of my college apartment and be able to look on it later and kind of reminisce. Um, and also who knows how many of these plants are going to survive the move. So I want to give them their proper day in the sun, you know what I mean? Um, but before we get into that, of course we have to do the drink of the video. You will see throughout the apartment that I decorate with these. This is the GT's Synergy Raw Kombucha in the flavored gingerade, and I love it. I am so obsessed. I drink this stuff maybe once a week. But it's so good. It's an acquired taste for sure, but if you like sour stuff, totally for you. But so number one plant on the list is my first plant that I ever got. His name is James. And yes, for fair warning, I do name all of my plants. Um, this is James. He is a jade plant and I got him when I moved into my dorm freshman year of college and we love him. He has stood the test of time and is still in the soil that I think I just dug up from my backyard. So he's a real trooper. Okay, the next plant we have is this golden pothos. It's actually just called wedding plant number three because I have a few golden pothos that I'm going to use to turn into individual little plants to give to people at my wedding as wedding favors. Um, and so it is beautiful and I love it in this hanging pot, but unfortunately it is gonna be cut to pieces here in a few months. Um, and then we have Queen Lana, of course. Um, and my little desk area, so very fun. Once again, those are some more pothos that are just gonna be cut up and turned into wedding propagations, and I do think I'm gonna do a video on that here in a few weeks, so stay tuned for that. So this beauty, her name is Athena. She's a heart-shaped philodendron, and she is, I think, the second plant I ever got. Um, she's lived her whole life in this little Cafe Bustello can and somehow managed to thrive to <laughs> this expanse. Um, I love how her vines kind of frame this map of Middle Earth, which is like my most prized possession. Um, but yeah, she really has just been thriving and like these vines are crazy, like wrapping around over here, going across this little shelf. Um, and yeah, so gorgeous. And I'm afraid she might not survive the move just because of how these vines are all kind of tangled around a bunch of stuff. So I really wanted to document just how gorgeous she looks right now before she might have to, you know. Um, and then over here, we have this behemoth, uh, Mowgli. Uh, when I got him, I think he was about this tall. And then I also featured him in a video where I had to get mealybugs out of his soil and honestly since then he's like shot right up. Now I will say he looks a little funny kind of just being one vertical sprig so I might do a whole chop and prop so where I can get him down there and have a little bushier look um, but I'm so afraid that that will kill him so I've just been hesitant and let him grow vertical. But yeah this is a fiddle leaf fig. They are a little more on the high maintenance side but if you get them some good sun and keep their leaves clean it works. It should be good to go. And then the last plant we have in this section down here is Victoria. She is a ZZ plant and ZZ plants are really easy to care for. I will say she's kind of dusty right now, so I will have to clean her. Um, but they don't really need a lot of light and they also don't need super frequent watering because they have bulbs that hold them, hold the moisture in. Um, so yeah, I would definitely recommend that one if you're kind of a beginner. Um, let's see, we just have some Random propagations here in these propagation orbs. Um, this is a philodendron Brazil. And then up there is some Swedish ivy. Okay, so this plant is currently in propagations. I just recently kind of clipped her wing and put her in some water. This is also Swedish ivy. Her name is Margaret. And I'm going to repot her into this pot back here soon. But she had gotten 
way big, way out of control, and a lot of the lower growth was dying. So I decided to give her a little bit of a fresh start, but you can see we're almost ready. Those roots are almost ready to go into some new soil. Um, and then we have another golden pothos here. I have so many of these. Um, her name is Sacagawea, and she also came from like, I think two or three sprigs of the golden pothos from my grandma and has, as you can see, flourished pretty well. Um, and, oh, and one little thing I wanna show is my monster energy can that has literally been on my desk for about two years now. And I keep meaning to turn it into a candle, but now it just looks like I have a shrine to monster energy and also synergy kombucha. So I kind of have a problem, <laughs> but it's a good problem to have. So this plant was a birthday plant gift from my fiance, I think two birthdays ago, one birthday ago, can't remember. Um, but her name is Peach and she is a philodendron birkin. Um, she's doing okay. They have a really bad tendency of getting their leaves stuck in curled up like that. And it takes everything in me not to try to pull it out myself, but then usually that ends up breaking it. But yeah, she's been relatively high maintenance. I would say that these, I wouldn't recommend if you're a beginner just because I've had a little bit of trouble with her, but she's so gorgeous and her leaves are so colorful and shiny. Um, and I just love her here. This kind of nightstand look is so fun. And this is like the most stupid impulse purchase I've ever got, but I love it and I use it all the time. It's a bedside water carafe. And like you wake up in the middle of the night, you're parched. It makes you feel like a Victorian princess because you're like, oh, I have this very fancy carafe. I'm gonna drink some water, um, but way expensive. <laughs> um, and then up here we have some more propagations for the wedding. Now, they are kind of struggling, so I need to do something about those soon. Um, but then this plant right here is, oh, her name is Angelina, and she is a Calathea, no, a Maranta, so sorry, a Maranta prayer plant, and she's in a Cafe du Monde coffee container. As you can tell, I love to put plants in coffee containers. I think it's so cute. Um, and then over here, we have Sunshine. This is the plant that has been the mother of all the golden pothos propagations you've seen around the room. Um, she's very gorgeous, very fluffy, which I love in a pothos, is a fluffy pothos. I just think it's so pretty. Um, and then, yeah, I've got my little string light wall. And then the last thing I want to show you is a surprise in the closet. So I'll meet you over there. So this next item, I'm not even going to introduce. <laughs> There is nothing I could do to prepare you for why I have a massive picture of Legolas in my closet, but I just think it fits, you know? We got the Lord of the Rings poster, we got Legolas over here, and yeah, that is my room tour, and now I'm going to meet you out in the living room to show you the rest of the plants we have out there. Come on, come on! So, here we are, living room. It's a college apartment, so, you know, you get, you get what you get, but I feel like uh, we've made the most of it. So here we have Tiana. Um, her name comes from when I first got her, I planted her in a Cafe du Monde coffee can, once again, and that brand of coffee is from New Orleans. And so I was like, ah, Princess and the Frog. Um, but this is an Arabica coffee plant. And yes, the leaves are yellowing a little on the bottom, but overall I'd say she's thriving right here in this little bright sunny window. And don't judge me for how dusty everything is. Okay, shh. So here on this hanging shelf, we have two more golden pothos that I'm gonna use for those wedding favors. But then behind them, I have a snake plant, and for short, his name is Stanley, but the full name is uh, Stanley Hudson, lover of pretzel day from the office. Um, and then we have a candle. That one is from the candle making video that I did, so proof that they actually do work. Um, and then we have a marble queen pothos over there and her name is Arwen. Marble Queens are just slightly more high maintenance than Golden Pothos because they have a little more pigmentation so they can be a little more delicate. Um, and then beside her, we have a Chinese Evergreen and her name is Snow White. In case you couldn't tell, another Golden Pothos. This one's name is Patty. Um, and that's really all I'll say about that one. And then over here, we have Aloe. Her name is Aloe. <laughs> I could not come up with a more creative name than that. 
Um, it's kind of super droopy and floppy. I'm actually really bad at taking care of succulents. And I don't know why, no matter what I do, I just feel like they always end up getting squishy. Maybe I overwater them. But I have found that I don't do well with succulents. And then moving on to more plants that I don't do well with. Um, <laughs> this you may recognize from my pest treatment video. His name is Stinky. And this plant has really just been through the ringer. I bought it off of clearance at Lowe's for $2. I revived it back to health. Then it got thrips, so it died. But then I propagated it and revived it back to health again. And then it's dying again. So I think this one is kind of a little bit of a lost cause. It used to be so gorgeous and like bright and I just had the highest of hopes for it. And now it's just really struggling. So we may have to let that one go in the move, but you'll always be remembered, Stinky. This is Mark, the Peace Lily. Nothing else to say about that one. Um, here we have Rosella, the last plant. And no, I don't show favorites, but this one's my favorite. She kind of fell from grace a little bit. She used to be so big. You've probably seen in older videos, she used to be massive, but then she got some root rot and we had to cut her up and repropagate. But she has rebounded really, really well. And I think is going to get back to her formal glory before too long. Um, but yeah, just so gorgeous. These leaves are literally perfect. Like, I'm obsessed. Um, and it's probably for the best that we had to kind of propagate her and make her a little smaller, A, to make the move easier, but B, because she used to take up a lot of space. Like, all of this stuff on this cabinet, you used to cannot get to. Also, note to self, definitely don't ever just leave it there after you water, because even if you think you're just giving a little water, it's gonna leak down. So I need to clean that. Don't judge me. Don't judge me. Um, but yes, so this is my last plant. Um, she's gorgeous. Totally not my favorite. Um, and yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this kind of plant tour, apartment tour little video. It's kind of a like time capsule for me to be able to come back and look at my old college apartment, but also maybe some inspiration for you as to what plant you might want to get next or maybe how you might want to style them or something. But yeah, I hope this was fun and entertaining for you. I know it was for me. And I will see you in the next video.